Wind energy is a green alternative to coal fire plants. Off the coast of Virginia, one of the country's biggest offshore wind farms is under construction, but how much energy can wind provide for Hampton Roads? We sat down with Jerry Barnes, a senior strategic advisor for offshore wind projects with Dominion Energy, to ask him what the physical scope of the wind farm will be. The project consists of 176 turbines, 27 miles offshore, out to 42 miles offshore. The size of the lease is about 113,000 acres. And if you want to put that in terms that you may be able to understand, it's about two and a half times the size of Washington, D.C. So offshore wind has the capacity to provide essentially the needs of 50% of Virginia's residential customer base. It's a good, reliable, affordable energy source. Based on the size of components that we can install offshore, it's extremely efficient. There's no fuel cost and there's no emissions. So over the life of the project, all the electricity that is produced is produced carbon free and at an affordable rate and a reliable rate. Carbon free means it does not use fossil fuels or emit carbon. When more carbon is added to the greenhouse gases already in the atmosphere, it can contribute to climate change. So why is wind a good source of energy production? We spoke with Paul Olson, the executive director for the Institute for Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Old Dominion University. It's a renewable energy. As long as we have the sun and the day and the night, we're gonna have wind. Are there any other downsides to wind energy? It takes a lot of steel, a lot of steel. To make one turbine, you're talking about a tremendous amount of steel that might be equal to making a destroyer for the U.S. Navy. We have to be careful that we don't create a competition, a competitive arrangement between those great Americans who are building ships and those great Americans that are building the wind turbines. The wind farm project is scheduled to be completed by 2026. At that time, Hampton Road residents can expect to receive cleaner energy from the wind turbines. The project, once completed, will provide 2.6 gigawatts of power to Virginia customers. It provides enough power for 660,000 homes, which is about 25% of our residential customers in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Dominion Energy has a goal to be emissions-free by 2050. In the state of Virginia, we anticipate being uh, zero emissions by 2045. Those goals are in line with the state of Virginia, which passed a law mandating zero carbon energy generation by 2050. The wind farm project will reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, but there will be some challenges.